So, I was always wondering what was going on with this door and why it was making a popping sound. See this? That's the main lifting point to that. On the pin. And uh, the piece of metal that's broke off on the top. That's probably why it was making a really bad noise every time the door was open and closed. Wow. Wow. I could try welding it. Or I could just go to the place and see if they have a brand new one. Yeah, it is messed up. That is the issue though. Wow. This place is ghetto. This is like, it's a sinking ship. That's why um, I'm just trying to get rid of everything. I think we're going to go back on car repairs soon. Because we're just going to try to make things as best we can with the parts I already have. Ripped up this piece. Ripped out the thread. So that's just awesome. We're going to need a bigger piece of hardware now. What? What junk? Now this piece cracked. So my option is I either flip it or I move put that on over there because it's the same and try again look at that crack metal wow I got something like this which might work you see this is in a reinforced one it's larger you got a couple different mounting points and it slides for different widths of the door yeah that's the eBay one I think that's the bastard though you need my lights are flickering oh there is lost electric Power outage! Uh huh. You see? The big bar? That's what I need. That's what I need. I'm gonna get one tomorrow. Happens to a lot of people. Look, it rips out. Almost wrecked the dude's cars. Yep. That is the repair, but I think I can get one a lot cheaper than this. Ah, oh, power is nice. Yeah, no one wants to start the generator. So, continue on with this. I might have to take this brace out. I think you can put them right over these bolts, so you can take these bolts out, put that piece over that, probably underneath this. So this is a heavy bastard. Uh, hammer this shit flat with a punch. And then put the big pulling plate. And then where's this? We'll drag this thing back over here. That needs grease, by the way. Pretty sure that needs some sort of grease. Yeah, it's kind of dry. Oh, well, we can put it on there. I don't like that. I bet it'll go a lot smoother with grease. That's really bad over there. This is freaking bent. I don't know why that looks like that. Like, it is bent. You see, that that should be right in the center, and it's not. That freaking thing bent out. Well, we'll fix that too, because this. I don't like that. You know, this free floating, that should be right in the middle of the door, and it's not. Oh, great. I love this place, you know, this. Whatever. No power. Hot. Screwed up place. What was it? The wire. And they're painting a door, fixed it too. The wire, which runs on top of there, the uh, sensors, it's right on top of that rail. You see where I kind of taped it. It was all hanging too, and it was hitting on it, getting chewed up. Like, whoever built this place was this Tobozo, and they went back to their country, or they actually got citizenship here. And, uh, yeah, they're doing big things. That's bent. I don't know why. I'm gonna fix that though, like right now. And it's only like, there's missing bolts and shit holding that thing on too. There's only like two bolts, there should be another one. I was looking at that before. It's just one big nightmare. Alright, rig it up. Gotta get that plate tomorrow. Yeah, this bastard is bent. It's twisted. Right there, you got a big twist going on it. Great, so we gotta fix that too. Let's take that off, hammer it flat. Bracket was really... Now, two big hammers, these S-wing hammers. Use one as a dolly if you live like I do and you gotta squat. It sucks, you know, put that as your base. Whack it with that one. 
kind of like that. Forge it a little bit. <laughs> Isn't that forging it when you smash it with a hammer? You got it pretty straight. I'm just going to put Loctite on it and run it. I don't care. It's probably like a $5 part, but... Now after Loctite and straightening this thing, look, look at the... Oh, right in the middle. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, wow. Look at the lights. So, right before we lost power for about an hour, uh, this thing, I noticed, broke. Well, it was on the process of breaking. And that bracket was twisted. We fixed that. I got a video of that coming. Not very interesting. Uh, I got this big reinforcement bracket. Apparently, you just take this top bar or strut brace off. This goes over here. I guess I freaking sandwich. I pop two screws into this, which is kind of weak. That goes over the hinge. And that goes up there. Pop a couple screws in. And then I can reattach this thing to the center of it. Yeah, what I was hoping they had was, again, kind of like a piece like this, but it has actually cutouts. They have a couple different spots for that without having screws or it has holes drilled on the side but oh well you get what you get but we really have to go fix this so right now I got a manual door which is which is cool manual door is cool put that back over there do 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 not really pleased with this bracket and if anyone knows me I go nuts on stuff I don't like. Yeah. Goes like that though. You don't have to take this whole strut brace off. You can just unbolt it and slip it underneath it, which is cool. And then we have another one of these crappy brackets, which is probably going to break. The better ones have the. Well, they won't. Well, probably will break, but I probably won't be living here. When it does break, I'll be dead, one or the other. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put a little upper tension on this. Just, just a little bit because I know when it's hammered it grinds so I figure if I give this a little air gap it will help center that up sock three screws Make one has to go through the flimsy shit flimsy shit one has to go back through the strut brace well two and then you can just draw a face with bolts if you want and that should be good. So what we did, two bolts, two long ones, three new ones, new bracket. But this thing is so quiet now. When it goes down before it was clunking and popping. This is a very nice fit. Way better than before. Wow. Wow, wow. Anyway, we got to fix this now. We get the missing bolt. Now we're just putting two more these long self-tapping screws in. And yeah, that's how you reinforce it. They do make better kits, like I said, but this will work for now. I think this whole geometry is off and this is totally wrong. Now it'll be half right. Like some of these things they spin and the hinges. It's a nightmare. And yes, I did insulate this garage door many years ago it helps a lot so let's go pop those two screws in yeah we're not going bolt crazy i was gonna go like two and one but i'm not wasting our time here check it out this check out how quiet watch this no more clunking i used to go cha ching cha ching cha ching cha ching cha ching none of it I still gotta grease it. it. Used to be clunking right there. Clunk, 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 clunk. And now when you let it down, when the door used to speed up and go down, it used to go clunk, 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 clunk like right about now. It doesn't do it. it. Holds it. Cause that's when all the force is on it. When that door wants to go down, it's really yanking on it. Not so much on the up, but more on the down. 
And that's when he used to go, donk, donk, donk. Wow. Yeah, this is new to me. I never had one of these. I had the manual door. I'd still like to have one that'll like power doors. Alright, so that is that. Job done. That is so good. Awesome, I still don't like this, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, if I didn't show this before, there are just pages and pages and pages of what people did to fix this. Here's one they used just a piece of angle iron with holes. Uh, I kind of like this style better. Um, yeah, with the double holes. Or like something like this. Well, that's for, I had a door like this back in the day, insulated door, but it's a manual door. I prefer that over a uh, power door any day of the week. I'm bracing and windows from bed. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a little beefed up. But the deal is, if you have a garage door opener, I like this, man. I wish our door was like this. I would do this if I cared about this place. And it wasn't an HOA. Like, double, basically you're, you're doubling the hinges on it. You can put twice as many hinges. That's really cool. You can probably crash it. Look at that. That is freaking cool. I like that. Anyway, we would have been in that one now too. Um, yeah, if you have a garage door opener, you might want to check that piece out because it is going to break on you just like that and rip out. Very common. So, do it if you can. Uh, I kind of like this setup better because that goes with the hinge. That goes with the top bar, the strut brace. And then you have a couple different positions, which may work, it may not. If it depends, and you get a longer pin that goes across. And now you have four points of contact for the pin instead of only two. Oh well. It will work. Oh, and you see, that's the one I, I was hoping to get. This is someone's overhead door site. If you have an overhead door branch near you, they probably have the same part. This is the one I wanted. But what they gave you was this. I got this instead. All right, so that's the uh, the deal. You can get you can get it if you have an overhead door or any brand really. Just look up your manufacturer. You'll find something that works. But definitely, just do not run that bracket on a thin piece of metal. Either beef up the metal with that and run that bracket, or get one of these, which I was kind of hoping they would have supplied to us, but they didn't have it.